let us see the next kind of governor it is called as hartnell governor hartnell governor is also a type of centrifugal governor the difference in hartnell governor and previously which we have seen porter and proel governor is that in case of porter and proel governor we were having dead weight now that dead weight is replaced with a spring gear so this is the important feature of hartnell governor is that here we are having a spring and then this also works on the principle of centrifugal force that when the spindle would be rotating when the spindle starts rotating at a very high speed if the engine if the load on the engine is less so this speed increases and when the spindle speed increases these fly balls they try to move out because of the centrifugal force and when the fly ball moves out they would be trying to lift this sleeve the function of this bell crank lever is to transfer the motion in right angle direction that is the horizontal motion of the fly ball would result in the bell crank lever lifting the sleeve so the sleeve gets lifted and when the sleeve is lifted it would be moving upward and controlling the supply of working fluid that is when the sleeve moves up the supply of fluid would be restricted to the engine that is the fuel supply is stopped to the engine and then when the speed of the engine decreases because of the insufficient amount of fuel supply we can say that the engine is maintaining its constant speed and when the speed of the engine decreases then the fly balls they are moving down and now when they were when it the sleeve was moving up the spring was compressed and when the fly ball it is moving inside at that time some energy was which was stored in the spring it gets released so the spindle is pushed because of two forces first because of the fly wheel there is one force because of the fly balls there is a force provided at the same time the energy which was stored in the spring that also pushes the sleeve downward and what happens when the sleeve is moving down the passage which controls the throttle supply it opens and more supply of fuel is given to the engine so that the speed of the engine increases and we maintain a constant speed of the engine so this is the hartnell governor which we have seen here spring is the main member as we have seen in case of porter and proel governor they were having dead weight and here the spring provides the additional downward force on the sleeve and we can say that it is also a centrifugal governor when the speed increases centrifugal force moves out centrifugal force moves out and when the speed decreases the fly balls move inside pushing the sleeve at the same time spring will also push the sleeve in the downward direction the valve is opened and cutting uh, you can say the supply uh, the fuel supply it goes to the engine and then the engine speed increases so from all this it is very much clear that governor is that member which has supply over the working fluid and by controlling the supply of working fluid to the engine we can control the speed of the engine so with this we complete the topic of hartnell governor